well, you know, we found that there was opportunity. You know, we had we had infrastructure, have a great team in place. Uh, we were poised to uh, expand anyway, uh, and we continued to uh, to grow. You know, we had, uh, other opportunities landed in our lap during the pandemic, and we took them. Some of them got uh, uh, sidelined and delayed, and we expedited them. Um, and we felt the opportunity was right to continue to stay in the game and work hard. And uh, we planted seeds for the future. Uh, a lot of the, re the things we opened didn't uh, show us any cash flow yet. But uh, as the weather changes and the vaccine uh, uh, starts to be implemented, it, it seems to be uh, that we're going to have a good future. You know, and again, I've I've been one of the few that has been on the road, David. I've been traveling, not extensively, but enough into 15 or 17 states, you know, in the last six to nine months. And I've had the opportunity to see other places and it, everything, of course, has become political. I'm not going to ask you to wade into that, but the difference is very striking. There are states where it's 100% full, 100% capacity, restaurants are packed. You wouldn't even know anything was going on. New Jersey, I'll give the governor credit, remained open when many neighboring states did not. We're still at 35%, I think, maybe going to 50% here in capacity. What have you seen is not only the difference in how you operate, because you're in different states, but in the attitude of your customers? Uh, that's great, uh, a great point, Brian. New York City, we got crushed. And we, there was no communication, and we, we really got the wind knocked out of ourselves. We still remain closed in New York. We have three properties, four properties. Three of them will reopen, um, uh, but not quite yet. New Jersey, we did get open for the summer. I give Murphy credit for that compared to what happened in New York. He did a great job. Uh, so we were able to have cash flow. We were able to employ people. We were able to feed people that needed help, uh, first responders and uh, and. Uh, uh, people uh, people in need. In New York, we weren't even able to help people because we had no cash flow whatsoever. So we uh, so there was a big difference between those two states. We're opening in Charlotte. Charlotte was okay. Uh, we had we had some uh, some some a, a little more uh, uh, a little quicker recovery there for an opening standpoint, and uh, we continue to grow there. But it was it was uh, it, it's just disappointing to be able to see some states stayed open, thriving, both schools and businesses, and to see what happened in New York. And in New Jersey, without uh, us being open uh, and Murphy opening us uh, for uh, the 25, which I believe now is 50 percent, we would have been out of business. Yeah, and, and I know it's it's not a profitable time, but at least uh, restaurant owners I talk to, David, say they can at least, you know, make 65 percent of their costs are fixed, rent, insurance, payroll, <clears throat> whatever it is they can make those as well. And I, I know this because I've tried to make, I, I've been going out to eat. I've made, tried to make reservations. My biggest problem is getting a reservation now. How busy are you, especially at 35% capacity? It, I got to imagine you're, you're seeing people say, well, don't go out to eat. It's dangerous. It was a study. It says 1.4% of infections were traced back to restaurants in New York. I mean, we can debate it all day long. It's not a huge number. Are you seeing people willing to go out, especially as the vaccines have rolled out. The we opened uh, Orchard Park by David Burke in East Brunswick about four months ago, and uh, it's a very large space and, and beautiful. And uh, people came out. You know, we had to hold people back from coming out because we did social distance. We have a large space. The bar isn't open. Of course, the outdoor dining isn't open yet. Uh, as of uh, the change from three or four months ago is noticeable as we opened Rumson uh, two days ago. <clears throat> uh, that's called the uh, Red Horse. And and people, it's mostly optics now and how comfortable it looks and how much that the procedures you're keeping in place. But I haven't heard the, the word uh, uh, coronavirus or pandemic or social distance in my restaurants for the last month or so now that people are getting vaccines, et cetera. I think it's time to get, the, get out and eat. And I think the timing with the weather and, uh, and and other changes, I think people are ready to get out for the most part. And that's a great sign for us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.